Senator Ted Cruz, Anna McAdams, and Elliston Berry. Thank you all so much. We really appreciate it. Uh, first, I want to start with you, Senator Cruz. You have introduced the Take It Down Act, which is against revenge porn. Why are you doing this and why is this necessary? Well, Jack, we're seeing a growing pattern of, of people being victimized and, and, and abused. And, and, and there's a new phenomenon we're seeing, which is people are using AI, artificial intelligence, to create deep fakes. And, and Elliston uh, was, was a victim of this when she was 14 years old. A, a classmate at school took, took perfectly Im innocent images of her from social media and used apps to create graphic, explicit pictures that were not her, that were fakes. And, and then distributed them to her friends. And we're seeing this pattern happening over and over again. Thousands of young people have been victims of this. And, and, and right now for parents, for young people who are victims, it, it's incredibly frustrating because there are very few avenues for relief. And, and so the Take It Down Act is bipartisan legislation that I introduced today with Amy Klobuchar, Democrat from Minnesota. And, and it is legislation that does two things. Number one, it makes it a criminal offense. It makes it a felony to share non-consensual in intimate images, either real images or fake images created using AI deep, deep fake technology. And, and, and it makes it punishable by up to two years in prison if the victim is an adult and up to three years in prison if the victim is a minor. And then secondly, it creates a, a, a federal right. Right now, big tech companies regularly refuse to take this content down. And, and when victims, when their parents, in, in Elliston's case, it was Snapchat. Snapchat left these images up for months and months and months. What the Take It Down Act does is creates a federal legal requirement that when notified by a victim of this kind of exploitation and abuse, that big tech has 48 hours to remove the images, to remove any copies of the images. And so it gives you a right to get that garbage offline. And um, I, I had more questions about that, but I did want to ask Anna and Elliston. Uh, first of all, I admire your courage that it is to come forward and discuss this publicly. And uh, whoever wants to take this question first, how hard was it to decide to, be, to come public and talk about what happened? Um, I don't think it was very hard to decide to do that as a mother. Um, when I realized I couldn't really protect Elliston. And in this situation, with what happened, it was totally out of our control. We had no idea who he was, how many times the images were, um, were sent out. Um, we didn't even know if it was just only on Snapchat. So it wasn't hard to go, we've got to change things. Things have to change. The young man that did this um, got very little to no consequence. And that was just because we don't have anything in law that would um, that would be there already with law enforcement, school board, schools, they don't know what to do with it. So I knew that we had to do something in order that so that this wouldn't happen again, or if it did, there would be some kind of consequence. And Elliston, uh, just your, you know, the fact that you're here, the fact that you were at the news conference, um, it's not easy to do, especially for a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> So talk to me about that. Well, um, it was really scary, the whole situation. And as the months have went on, a lot more insight has been brought onto the subject. And it's really helped me as well, all the other victims to come to the conclusion that we are finally making laws. So that way, if this were to happen again, uh, other people would get justice. And it's really creating a relief knowing that if someone minor or adult to um, release images like this or create them, that they would get punished and that people who are victims will get justice. And I just, I can't imagine the angst that you have. Um, can you talk to me a little bit about that as far as what you experienced at the time, uh, both you as the victim in this case and, uh, Anna as her mom, who, who, who has to endure this as well and try to help out. Well, it was really scary, especially the week that it all went down. It was really terrifying because there was not closure and it was really scary for me and my friends. 
And as these photos continued to go around, it created so much anxiety. And I didn't even want to attend school just out of fear that these photos would get brought up in class or who knows, the person that created these photos is walking around with no punishment and I would be seeing him without realizing it was whoever had done it. And it was really scary. And although that he is no longer at school and that these photos were taken off Snapchat, there's always going to be a fear of these photos resurfacing. And yeah, Anna. I think that's the hard thing for me is as a parent, again, wanting to protect my child, knowing that um, they could resurface when she goes to college, when she goes to get a job. Um, my hope in doing this is that this is what is brought up, um, what we're trying to do to help others and not necessarily the photos. Senator Cruz, as far as this legislation, A, do you think, do you see any opposition? You have a lot of bipartisan support here. And the other thing is, you know, if in this case, it was another young child who was guilty of this. Yep. And so federal law doesn't go after children. And so I'm wondering, how does that how does that work? Well, in terms of the prospects for passage, I think they're very, they're very positive. Uh, as you noted, we have 12 co-sponsors of this bill. It's a bipartisan bill. So we have six Republicans. We have six Democrats. So it's by design running across the spectrum. And, and I don't think this is an issue that should be partisan, that should be ideological. We, we all want to protect young people. We want to protect kids. And, and this is a pattern of abuse that, that, that can target anybody. You know, earlier today when we announced this bill, we had another mom from New Jersey uh, whose, whose daughter, Francesca, sa same age as Elliston, 14, faced almost the exact same thing, which is a guy from her school took images and created these deep fakes. And I'll tell you with the technology now, it, it can be made so it appears totally realistic, that, that you can't tell that, that it's not a real picture, you can't tell that it's not a real video. And, and that is horrifically traumatizing and, and, and abusive. And, and I will say the, the abuse and the trauma is ongoing because the pattern we've seen from big tech is, is that they consistently just stiff arm the victims and their families. So th the way that, that Elliston's, what happened to her came to my attention is that Elliston and Anna are Texans. They live in Alito in, in, in North Texas. And, and Anna reached out to our office and said, look, this, this happened to my daughter, can you help? And, and I've long been very active in protecting kids online. I think there are an enormous number of threats targeting our kids online. And, and, and we began to engage, and that was really the impetus for drafting this bill, is, is we saw a real need that federal law didn't address it. And, and, and I'll tell you, Jack, it, 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 it was pretty amazing. Last week, Anna and I sat down here in my office and we talked about it, and she told me last week, she said, you know, the images are still online. Snapchat hasn't taken them down. And, and, and I turned to my team, I said, I, I want you to get on the phone with Snapchat today. And I said, if need be, put me on the phone with the CEO of Snapchat. We're going to get those images down. And within 24 hours, they pulled the images down. Now, frankly, it should not take an elected member of Congress having to intervene. That's not fair to just a teenager who's been the victim of this. And, and look, we all know the most famous instance of this was Taylor Swift. And Taylor Swift was a victim of this, but because she's a global star, when she spoke out, big tech pulled it down immediately. But if you're a teenager just living your life, trying to be a freshman and, and going to school and sports and friends, big tech completely ignores you. And so this bill is designed to change this. And, and I believe we'll get it done. My hope is we will pass it this year. At this point, we, we do not know of any senators who are opposing it. I hope nobody does. We also don't know if big tech is going to oppose it. I hope they don't. And, and my message to them is do the right thing, be responsible, and don't try to fight this. And so I think there's a real chance that we get this done. And, and, and I would note also, Jack, as you know, I'm the ranking member of the Senate Committee on Commerce, Science, and Transportation. The Commerce Committee has jurisdiction over about 40% of the US economy, including big tech. And so we're going to take this up in the Commerce Committee. I believe we'll pass it out of the Commerce Committee. And my hope is to get it signed into law before the end of the year. Thank you so much, Senator Ted Cruz, Elliston Berry, and Anna McAdams. We appreciate it very much.